the collector. Waking from a heavy sleep, I can't quite comprehend. I must be in a hotel room, it's happening again. I scramble quickly to my feet, get dressed and comb my hair. I'm hearing distant sirens so, I'm getting out of there. My clothes and shoes are spotted, with a splash or two of blood. But now it's dried, you might just, think it's merely spots of mud. I leave by the hotel back stairs, already paid the tab. And run into the busy street, where I can hire a cab. And as the taxi pulls away, I look through tinted glass. At police cars tearing up the road, and pulling up real fast. And later, while I'm back at home, I watch the news and see. Another male dead body found, this brings the count to three. The hotel killer strikes again, the victims are all found. In bedrooms, gagged and naked, with their hands and feet tight bound. But what the newsman didn't say, was how the men had died. They kept it quiet, they hid it well, to sound more dignified. I open up the bag I take, when going on a spree. I place the new one in the fridge, and that makes number three. Three sets of genitalia, all sitting in a row. Such neat removal, very skilled, a simple cut and go. Three men who thought they cheat upon, someone who's quite a catch. They realized a bit too late, that they had met their match. I lure them to the hotel rooms, we fondle and we strip. I shag them, gag them, tie them up, and then give them the snip. I leave them to eternal rest, and sleep next door alone. Next day, wake up and leave before, their absence becomes known. I might just leave my tally, at a moderate number three. But still, my latest boyfriend, takes some liberties with me. If he won't start to change his ways, he could be number four. My little fridge has ample room, for packages galore.